Hello, mi gente. It's your girl Tori, indeed. And I have a very special guest, Mr. I Get Money. I want to say he's about that mindset, that lifestyle, the gear, the tips, the healthy meals, all around mentor, <laughs> role model, <laughs> everything. I mean, shoot, I'll try to do it all. AKA Mario. No. <laughs> 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 that one wasn't the Spanish accent. That one was just, um, you know. That was like more like video game. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of got um, geeked out there for a second. So let's get right into the I Get Money LLC. That's such a direct uh, message in itself. Yeah. So yeah. I know it's I know it's backed by your slogan, uh, your slogan <laughs> as well, <laughs> that your body's a bank account, make a deposit. So yeah. Tell me a little bit about your company, and then I want to kind of get into the roots of who you are as an individual. So, so really, I get money is just a, another way of saying, you know, what you're doing with exercise or what you're doing with working out. Um, but it's just like I feel like a dope way of saying it. You know, um, it, it comes from we spend so much time at, at at work and with our jobs and everything. And when you ask people what they're doing, if they're hustling or something like that everybody's always like, oh, I'm out here getting money. I'm getting money. Um, so I was like, well, that's what I'm doing in the gym. You know, I feel like I'm I'm getting money. And if you talk to a lot of guys who, uh, um, who are either from the hood or have been to prison, in prison, uh, you'll hear that a lot is, you know, they're getting money. So um, I thought, hey, what a great way to say that what you're doing in the gym and that's where the slogan comes from because um how many jobs can you get i'm asking you directly like how many jobs can you get you can get what 10 11 jobs any kind of job you want all right. the time right right so how many bodies do you have one one you only get one so we take all this time and we put all of our energy into our jobs into our um our careers and to other people and to family and everything like that. But when it comes to ourselves, we make excuses, right? So we're like, I don't have time. Uh, I got to do this. Or I got to get up early or whatever the excuses are. Right. So eventually, you know, your body starts to wear down, you get sick and, you know, you start having health issues. And so I'm like, well, when you have a bank account, you can only take out of a bank account what you put in. So, if you ain't put nothing in, eventually that account runs out of money, you broke. You so, overdrawn and closed the account. <laughs> and closed the account. So, you know, unfortunately, due to COVID and, and a lot of other health issues like diabetes and cancer and stuff like that, there's a lot of accounts getting closed, right? So we can help slow that down, help avoid some of that by making deposits into ourselves. So walking, riding a bike, just, you know, sports, anything you could do where you're off your butt, off your phone for a minute, and you're just, you know, you're out there exercising. For me, I chose the gym because I just really like being in the gym and working out. Um, and it's funny because, you know, normally I, I that's where I'd be right now is I'd be in the gym either working out myself or, or training someone. So, right. but yeah, that's, that's just where it stems from. It just stems from like, well, I, I literally left a job, um, that was paying me great because I wanted to put more energy and focus on, you know, getting my, obviously getting my business off the ground, but just getting myself off the ground and just really putting that energy into me. You know, I was, I was at work, you know, and a lot of us do it 80 hours a week, 70, oh, yeah. 80 hours a week. And, you know, and for what to put, you know, a lot of money in someone else's pocket. Um, they decide, right. okay, I'm going to cut you a little check. And then you go home, you beat and, you know. And a lot, you know, a lot of people don't understand that you're replaceable. Yep. You're replaceable. So yep. if you know you need a mental day, a health day, just take it. Sometimes, yep, just take it. even if you run out of PTO days or you don't have any, what's more important you have to right. you have to kind of choose what's the most important and not the least yep. so the pot what do you consider deposits um the mindset deposits the are the food. um it, it's it's a mixture of everything you know mm -hmm. you know what did you eat today you know what what kind of uh activity did you do today that that got you off your phone off your feet you know outside breathing fresh air you know COVID scared us from doing anything out in the public, 
you know, right. so people are afraid to go to gyms, people are afraid to be in parks, people are afraid to be out. And so, you know, it's a combination of everything. It's a combination of, you know, obviously taking care of your body with working out, but you need fresh air. You need, you know, good food. One of the things I did just for me personally is obviously pork is a thing that I cut out completely years ago. Um, but I even stopped eating red meat just because of, you know, hormones and stuff like that and red meat. So um, just a lot of what you eat, what are you drinking? You know, just everything plays a part in making a deposit. So, um, and I've seen people say like, well, I only, I just walked for 30 minutes. Hey, that's a deposit. You know, when you, when you go to the bank, when you put in $5 or you put in $500, you, you put something in and that you have to start somewhere. And I'm hoping that I can get people in this new year to stop making you know, uh, New Year's resolutions and just really just make deposits, you know, stop making excuses, stop making resolutions and just go get it. <laughs> That's right. You can start at any time. It doesn't have yeah. to be the new year. It doesn't have to be the new year. Right. Let's talk about you as a person, What, like how you got to this mindset. So were you always an athletic person? Were you always into sports or staying active? So, so it's funny. So right now I'm, I'm six foot like 315 pounds I was but gonna say you look like and, a football player. <laughs> <laughs> so it, most people don't believe me but um in my earlier years I was probably like three times smaller and shorter um and I just I just hit a growth spurt and I really I had didn't really have any interest in sports I didn't have any interest in weights I didn't have any interest in in you know I I kind of played basketball I hated football because I didn't like people hitting me. Um, Like I shied away. I was actually uh, more of a nerd than, than anything. And it's, and it's weird to say that because (laughs) yeah, look like looking at me, you're like nerd. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. I, you know, um, I I mean, outside of the the gym, I'm a computer person. Oh, I'm sorry. Once you said, Oh, that sounded more like video games. I'm like, okay, he knew where I was going. Yep. Yep. So sorry, video games, that's like my other passion. So my, my other passion is computers and video games for sure. Um, but yeah, so I was, you know, I was really small. Um, and then unfortunately, and there was a part of my life where uh, I was making some, some bad decisions and I ended up in prison. So in prison is where I learned like really how to be like disciplined in um in everything just like in my mind um and working out and just just in life in general just so that i didn't you know change um you know and and, and have like a prison mentality you know right. so it actually it, it strengthened me all the way around and that's where i first heard the term you know getting money and and instead of instead of it being I get money, it was just like, you know, that's what they were saying, you know, get money, get money, get money. That's all I heard all the time. And so I first got out there and started lifting weight and realized um, that I was really strong, like naturally strong. Um, and so from there, I just kind of slowly built a passion for it. And as I started studying more of like my my family history and things like that, my mom is, you know, um, has high blood pressure, sleeps apnea. My aunt is um, type two diabetic and oh, wow. she has a lot of health issues. And so um, as big as I am, that scared me, you know, into like, hey man, I gotta do something different. So before I really started working out, I started eating different and that helped a lot. Um, and then, you know, I slur- slowly more and more working out, working out, working out. And then COVID hit. And I got it. And oh. I felt like if I wasn't working out and eating as healthy as I was eating and doing some of the things that I was doing, um, it could have been worse. And I got literally every symptom you could get from COVID. You know, I lost the taste and smell. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't sleep. Um, there was times I would like cough for like 30 minutes at a time and could never catch my breath. Um, I never went to the hospital, but it lasted for three weeks. And um, one day I just woke up and I was better. 
and it was it was like the scary thing and i i want to say like um once i knew i was done completely done i immediately got back into the gym immediately wow. so um i've been trying to start i get money for you know me a couple of years but because of like i said me putting energy into other things like jobs and mm -hmm. all this other stuff that you know i kept making excuses for why i couldn't start right that happens a lot trust me there's a lot yep. of talented skilled individuals the richest place on earth is a cemetery mm. that's the richest place i don't that's, know if you've ever heard that that's but that's deep. where <laughs> all the ideas and and everything that everybody was like oh i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and they just die with all those hopes and dreams and ideas wow wow that's deep in a nutshell that that's you know that's kind of me and so my brand i just um you know, I have this idea of um, who can get money, right? Anybody, just like anybody can get any type of job, anybody can get out there and get this money and make this deposit in themselves. And so right. um, all of us have something that we're trying to work on. None of us are perfect in our bodies and in the way we eat or whatever, right? And so um, I don't want people to think like, hey, in order for for me to, you know, to, to wear this brand or be a part of this movement, I have to be in tip top, perfect physical shape. It's no, it's for anyone young, old, big, small, right. it's just about you changing how you're thinking and how you're doing and how you're treating yourself, how you're treating your body. Right. It's a mindset, a lifestyle. And you're absolutely, yep. you're absolutely right, because it could be someone who's a beginner or an expert, and mm -hmm. um, you could still make deposits. The old saying, you are what you eat. People forget that. And that's like, uh, that's like the truest statement that you could, that you could think of. Like you literally, your body is made up of what you're putting into it. Right. And nutrition is probably one of the hardest parts for people, because you can yep. work your butt off. You can go and deposit checks all day, but on the other end, if you're going to the casino and just gambling away, then it's doing you no good to go to work. You're not saving anything. You're not doing anything smart with that money. So yeah, it's the same thing with your body. You could literally be in the gym three times a, three times a day, six times a week, um, run 20 miles a day, and you're going home and you know eating all the wrong foods you're going to see no change or you're gonna you know you're gonna get discouraged because you're like well i'm doing all this exercise what's going on well yeah you can't crispy cream it out after you just <laughs> you know hit the gym it doesn't you know it doesn't make sense <laughs> i'm not okay. a math wizard but something doesn't add up tell me some healthy meals or some healthy um nutrition tips that you would possibly give to someone that you're mentoring or training um, so like we were just discussing, everybody's body is different. So right. I try to tell people to stop trying to fit into these different like, um, um, diets and fads and things like that, that they see on TV or online and things like that. You do th this whole thing is, is a learning process, right? You have to learn your body and, and what's good for you. You know, somebody may get on a keto diet and do amazing. And you get on it and you see like zero results. Right. So I tell people that I meet and people that I train all the time, like, they're like, well, what? Well, well, Jim said this and I saw online this. And I'm like, don't talk to me about anything that you saw online or what you, you know, heard that your cousin's brother, sister did. You got to figure out you, you know, right. the first thing you want to do is you do want to stop eating, you know, processed foods. And that's everybody. Everybody should stop Correct. eating processed the fast foods. Food and yeah, fast foods and you, things like that. Purchase um, in the supermarket. Avoid it completely. It's it's bad for you. You know, um, you don't have to be a, 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 a cooking wizard. You know, there are some places out there that do, um, you know, meal preps and healthy things like that. But you just, you just want to be conscious of, okay, um, what am I trying to do? Am I trying to put on weight or am I trying to lose weight? Or, you know, you got to figure that out, what your goals are first. And then you can attack from there. You can't just go out and, you know, it's, it's called the shotgun approach where you just, you know, shoot it. And then you're just like, okay, I'm going to try everything all at once. And it, it doesn't work, you know? So you gotta, you gotta know, you gotta have a goal in mind. 
You know, when you start a job, you're like, hey, I want to work to supervisor. Okay, so in order to work to a supervisor, I got to be doing this, 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 and this. So if your goal is to lose weight, lose 25 pounds, okay, what am I going to do to lose 25 pounds? All right, well, first of all, uh, stop going to McDonald's or Wendy's or mm-hmm. Chick-fil-A every day or whatever it is, you got to cut it out. Right. You know, um, you know that's, that's the main thing. Know, know what you want and then uh, attack from there, you know. Um, as far as food go, one of my favorite things is uh, I do eat a lot of chicken, but I eat a lot of fish, you know, halibut, salmon, sea bass. Um, I watch a lot of Hell's Kitchen. So, oh. you know, I feel like when I when I get in the kitchen, I feel like a superstar. And uh, I'm like, I've seen Gordon Ramsay do this. I, I can do that. <laughs> I can do so, this. <laughs> yeah, uh, I encourage people not to be afraid to um, to go in, in the kitchen and experiment. You know right. what I mean? Try something new. Stop acting like vegetables are going to kill you. And you know what I mean? You know, have, have some broccoli, have some, you know, whatever, you know, try it out. Don't be scared. Yeah, don't be scared. <laughs> I always, um, every time I'm cooking or, um, and I have a friend or a family member, they're like, what concoction are you coming up with now? I'm like, I don't know. I just mixed everything together and it's going to be pretty good. Right. The mindset is definitely, definitely. Well, it starts there. So the, the biggest muscle in your body is here. That's your biggest muscle right here. And if you can't work that out or get that under control or make sure that that's functioning, you're not going to, nothing you do is going to, it's going to turn out the way you want it. So it does start mentally, you know, waking up every day and, and setting those goals. A lot of people don't realize like going to the gym or doing some type of exercise or um, just something physical like that, that stirs up all of those different um, muscles and, and endorphins and juices in your brain that actually, help you get more creative or help you work out all of those problems in your head that you couldn't figure out while you're sitting there staring at the computer or you're staring at your work. Um, You get on and you start working out and you realize like, because I do it all the time. I go to the gym, I start working out and I'm like, oh yeah, this, this, and this. And then boom, when I go back and start working again, you know, it's amazing. Or you get your best ideas or creations. Right. Yep. Because I took that time to get my mind right and on top of that it was a healthy decision right i i have i have learned the signal where my body's telling me i'm thirsty i'm not hungry or i'm Mm -hmm. probably dehydrated stop drinking soda you know so i definitely um hope that you continue to change more lives and kind of help people with the mindset and the and their their goals um apart from the healthy um nutrition or just better choices um what are some things that you would suggest someone who's a beginner that you know they don't know where to start what kind of exercise to do and um again you know i guess it also depends on their goals right yeah so um i mean you can do some of the basic um things if you're if people are too intimidated to hit the gym or they want to start out really slow, um, things like that. Obviously, um, going for walks helps, you know, just to get the blood flowing. Squats, like simple squats, um, doing 100 a day. And it seems like a lot when you're just beginning, but you can break it up, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, just, just, yeah, just do, do squats. Um, a lot of the people I train, um, I have them do – like right at the beginning of the session, we do 100 squats and 50 push-ups. You know, five five sets. All right, uh, I don't know if I can do the 20. push-ups yet, but uh. <laughs> well, you, you'd be surprised how strong you are. Um, even if you do the assisted, I know they call them girl push-ups, but I don't call them that. I call them assisted push-ups where you use your knees. Right. Um, and I've I've had some people. Um, one of one of the the girls I train, she started out doing push-ups on her knees and now she can do she can do at least 20 without using her knees and so she's you know you just build up and so it's really you just you have to be patient with yourself um just like any job you go into you're not the boss right away you worked your way to that um just like being out of shape you didn't just wake up out of shape you worked towards being out of shape (laughs) so you got to work towards getting back out of shape 
you know, getting back into shape. Yep. So it's a, it's a job. And if you're willing to go in and put 80 hours a week in at Amazon or at Target or King Supers, then um, I think you have enough energy to put some hours into getting yourself the way you want to get yourself. So right. I suggest start small, you know, set small goals and accomplish them and then just keep setting bigger and bigger goals until you, you know, are where you want to be. And then guess what? You're never going to be where you want to be. You're going to keep setting goals for yourself. I set goals for myself all the time. I don't wake up the next day and be like, you know what? I've peaked. I'm good. I'm done with right. the gym. I'm not. No, because I'm like, OK, well, what's next for me? What else can I do? You know, do right. I want to? You know, and so I just keep setting goals for myself and it's great. That actually just reminds me of like one of those questions. Like, what is your, what do you see yourself in five years? I don't know because right now my goal is this. And once I, once I get right. there, I'm going to want something else and things yep. change. So I feel like one. that's a loaded question sometimes too. You know, right. in five years, I'm like, man, I don't know what's going to happen in six months. Right. You know, goal, goals and plans may change in six months. You know, obviously in five years, I want to be this. And hopefully through this craziness of whatever's going on in my life, I get there. But <laughs> right, right. <you> know. <laughs> where are you exactly located where people could train with you in person? And if they're um, not in your so, area. Oh, sorry. Uh, not in your I'm, area. In, I'm in Colorado. <laughs> I, so what I do is I have memberships at several gyms um, where it allows me to bring people to the gym for free um, and work out. Um, currently right now I have a membership. I don't know if you can see behind me, um, athletics and beyond. Um, they got, they just got some like dope equipment in and I told them I was going to start being, uh, in their gym and working out and bringing people down because they, they have a lot of like nice equipment. They got a lot of dope trainers for like boxing and, um, sports and all kind of stuff. So, um, really it's a, it's in Montbello slash Denver off of, uh, like 40, 49th and Nome. Um, yeah, I think, yeah. Or 49.90 Nome street. So, so that, I mean, oh. that's where people can find me. I mean, obviously contacting me on Instagram. I'm, I'm one of those trainers that don't mind kind of going wherever you are. I've driven as far as like Loveland and Greeley, um, to train I people. So. I have a trip planned <laughs> out there. What about someone like myself or someone that is just loves your, your positive vibes, your, you know, your energy, your mindset, the lifestyle. And they just like, listen, I want you to train me. Do you offer virtual trainings or what, is that something you would dive into? Yep. So that's something I'm working on this, this year. Um, this year is going to be a lot of like online uh, tutorial videos where um, people can e either get on my YouTube channel or get on um, Instagram and see some of the the, the basic workouts to kind of get their themselves started. Um, some different kind of weightlifting techniques. Um, I've learned that um, combining different techniques to, and putting them together um, work great and work a lot faster. So I'm going to be putting a lot of that stuff on. And then um, I've already started with um, some relaxation um, sounds and videos and stuff like that for YouTube. Oh, wow. So people can take that time to, to either meditate or rest too, because rest is important. You know, we, we go, 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 go and never stop. And so our bodies and our minds don't have time to, to, you know, um, re-energize, rest, or or anything like that. So there's a lot that I got um, that I want to accomplish this this next year. I will uh, before the end of 2022 have um, some supplements out, some pre workout some vitamins, oh, nice. um, and some some natural uh, help with like weight loss stuff. Um, nothing crazy though. That's just kind of where I want to focus on. Nice. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I have some bigger goals. I don't want to release them yet, it's um, okay. but I do have, I do have some stuff that I'm working with some of my, um, some people who've been rocking with me from day one from before when it was just like an idea of, I get money to where, um, it's actually, you know, to this point to where it's at now and hopefully, um, get a little bit bigger. So, 
um, I, I definitely have a ton of stuff coming and ideas just keep popping in my head every day. So um, I feel like a, a, a nonstop train, you know. <laughs> and one thing you did not mention is the gear. I, I saw your, your apparel. I could probably pull it up on the screen. And it's just like, it's so, so, oh, yeah, you're wearing it. <laughs> Does it does it make you dance? Like well, as soon as I put the t shirt on, I could do that. I mean, it, it makes it makes me dance. I, you know, it's funny because, um, you know, one of one of everybody's biggest like um, heroes and and inspirations is The Rock, right? And you know, I've been watching The Rock since I was a young kid, and just you know, watching his career, and he's so dope, and watching everything he does, all his movies or whatever. And then he started coming out with clothing and shirts, and I'm like, oh, I want that. I want to, I you know, I need that shirt. I need you know whatever he's making. I need it, right? So, um, one day I walked into. Under Armour, and I went to buy a shirt, and it was forty five dollars. And I was like, right. <laughs> and I was like, shoot, that's a lot of money for a shirt, you know. And you know, I feel like that shirt makes a statement. You know, it, it, you know, hey, I wear the Rock shirt. I'm working out. You know, I'm, you know, I'm a gym guy. You know, that's gonna. And I stopped, and I was like, I could spend this forty five dollars to buy a shirt from the rock and he may or may not ever know it or i could take this 45 dollars and invest in myself and start my own brand and you know um rep myself and nothing against the rock because i'll still i still bought the shirt and i'll still go and um you know buy shirts every now and then but as far as like repping myself and being in the gym uh i just rock my own brand you know and because it's a statement it's just like when you see me you know I'm either coming from the gym going to the gym have at some point have been in the gym that or day make that something deposit, or going to make yeah. that deposit <laughs> exactly exactly I mean um even when I'm not in the gym and just like on a regular day I mean um I'm either wearing like one of my you know I get money wristbands or nice. I don't know if you can I don't know if you could see it kind of upside down a little bit. Yeah, so that's oh, my I brand. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, <laughs> I just decided to just like really take a hold of, I'm like, well, if it's my brand and I call it my brand, um, you know, I gotta, I gotta rock it, you know? And every time I see the rock and, and he's in his gym, he's always wearing his own clothes, you know? Right. So um like i don't see the i don't see the rock ever wearing gym shark you know i don't see him you know ever wearing you know just plain nike shirts you know he's wearing one of his shirts that he created so you know i was like hey why can't i do that you know right why can't i start something like that and I'm have a positive up. message behind it oh i'm sorry yeah i'm trying to pull up your gear now <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, that's why I'm over here. But no, you definitely could um, be the face of your own brand, wear your own brand. And especially yeah. if you are someone to put that positive mindset, I'm sorry, the positive message behind it to encourage a, a mindset, a lifestyle, and for you yep. to obtain your goals. And right now, um, a lot of people are, are starting to wake up and realize that your health is well. Yeah. So yep. I'm going to pull up your. We, we all, I don't know. We don't pay attention to all these, these, these phrases, these, uh, these cool hip catchphrases and stuff that we say, um, you know, people are like, yeah, people say health is wealth all the time, but like, do they, uh, do they know what that means? Like, what, what does that mean? You know what I mean? And it's just right. like, Hey, your body breaks down tomorrow. Forget that job you were talking about or forget, you know, um, being the president of whatever, forget doing all of that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, your body breaks down. That's a wrap. So I like, I like where you're at right now. So, so see that guy where it says Slim's art. So right. he, um, he is, his name is Sam. And I, when I first, he works at Planet Fitness. And when I first started doing my brand, 
Um, he's one of the guys that was just like, bro, I love your brand. I rock with you, whatever you're doing. And so one day I asked him if he could do like a, a tagger style version of, um, of my brand. I get and <laughs> Yeah. And so, you know, he's like a dope spray paint, you know, artist, like tagging artist. He's, he's super dope. Um, but yeah, he did that for me. And so I was like, bro, I'm going to put your designs on my website so that people can see you and see your, your designs. And so, um, shout out to, to, to Sam. Um, I want to say his last name is Jimenez. I think, I think I'm right. Sorry if your last name is not Jimenez, bro. Perfect, um, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I think, if, I mean, if it is Jimenez, perfect. Um, so yeah, that's super, super dope. And I love that you were able to create, or he was, you were able to collaborate for this creation. It's super, super dope. And, um, wow. And for you to actually let him be the model is nice too. <laughs> yeah. And so if, when you, when you look on my site, um, I would say majority of the people you see, not necessarily in this one, like if you scroll back up at the top, um, like right at the home page, um, that girl right there, her name is destiny. And, um, she is like, like my one of, I would say if not my right hand, she's definitely my left hand, um, for, for my brand. Um, I just seen her before we started this interview, we were, we were at the gym <laughs> and, and working out, but, um, you know, she's she's one of my most favorite people i have another one too um her name is lupe she'd be my right or left hand as well um but she's the one that helps me take majority of the photographs for my website and for my brand so there's some people locally that really really um rock with my brand and the idea of of what i get money means and so um definitely like one of my favorite things is just being like face to face with people and, and um you know letting them know like i'm like hey anybody can do this i'm no i'm i'm no different than you i'm not more special than you right. you know just if you change your mindset you can do exactly the same thing that i'm doing well what i admire is that your your brand name your company is i get money and it doesn't mean you mario right money it means no nope. i get money you get money my friends exactly get money, my cousins yep. my friends my family everybody my brothers yep. <laughs> that and i and i did it like that so that when you say it out loud you say you you don't say me you know you say i, I say mario so, get money <laughs> no so you own it, you know, once, once you say it, you own it. Um, I see, uh, uh, DJ K tone. I don't know if you ever heard of him, but he's like the, one of the dopest DJs out here in Colorado. Yeah. And, um, he rocks my brand in the gym. And every time I see him, I'll be like, bro, what's up? He's like, Hey man, I'm making that deposit. You know what I'm doing? <laughs> so it's just, it's, it's good to see like people are just like, Hey man, I get money out here or I'm making a deposit or, right, you know, right. and, and it catches me off guard when people say my own, um, slogans to me, <laughs> it, it throws me off. Cause I'm like, man, it's stuck. And I just hope that it sticks with, with more and more people, um, to go out there and, and you know, lo learn what getting money actually is and then make those deposits. Right. Wow. Yeah, I could just imagine a stranger uh, hearing me say, um, yeah, I, make, I just made that deposit. I'm making that deposit. And they're like, they, they like, wait, what kind of deposit? What are you talking about? Yeah, like, how oh, much no, money you then, got? And, you know? <laughs> then you explain like, it to them and they kind of, they're kind of like, wait a minute. I want some yeah. information. I never realized, yeah. you know, that. And now never that, realized that. that you, you could put it no. that way. No, it's not about it's not about actual physical money at all. It has nothing to do with cash. It's right. just like, hey, what am I putting into my body? What am I putting into this body account? And that's it. Go get it. Stop making excuses. Stop making excuses. I do. Oh, I, I do want to. I do want to put this out there. And I just. I was just talking to destiny about it and i've and i've talked uh i spoke with a few other people that that i know but um one of the plans is for me to open um a gym eventually uh 
and and just you know like really go full fledged with um, an I get money gym, you know, and that that's like that's like the dream for me is just you know to to have that. a spot for yeah for you know to have a spot for people to just come in and and that's why I like um, athletics and beyond because it's 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 the size of a gym that I would want and just like everything they offer here like that's that's a dream for me to have that same thing and be able to be in in the community where people can come and afford to work out and you right. know like hey I don't I don't have any excuses now this guy's gym is right up the street from me right you know so is there some things that you recommend to completely avoid in a gym or yes so one of or one of the one of the biggest things I tell people to avoid is to stop looking at everyone else. Stop worried about start, stop worrying about what everyone else is is doing or thinking or whatever, and focus on yourself. That's one of the biggest things uh, of why people avoid gyms because you go into a gym and you know you 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 yourself feel like you're out of shape and then you look across from you and here's this girl or this guy who's in you know what you consider top physical um shape and it's intimidating you're just like man this guy's lifting like 800 pounds over his head <laughs> and i can barely pick up this dumbbell yeah. so one of the biggest things i i tell people is hey don't stop looking around stop watching this guy or this girl um as far as machines go, um, I I advise people to try every machine. You know, take a look at every one, and and see you know which ones start for you. You know, because uh, it's with like so so one of the gyms I go to a lot is Vasa, and they have a combination of um, the free weights, um, like dumbbells and things like that. But then they also have the machines, and so. Right. The combination of both is good because you can start out on the machines and work your way over to, you know, the the bigger stuff, you know, the free weights and the dumbbells and stuff. So um, just don't be afraid to get in there and, and, and touch something, you know, try something out. Um, uh, another thing I would avoid, I tell people to avoid, too, is, you know, um, having one or two people with you is OK. Um, you don't, but you don't really want to go with too many people because it, it turns into like a, a, hangout. Uh, <laughs> a hangout session versus like an actual workout. You spend so much time talking and laughing and pointing and, and doing all that instead of actually, you know, working out. So you got to treat it, you got to treat it somewhat like a job. You know, you got to go in there with the mindset of, I got to get this done. Um, and eventually, you know, you'll just go in there and, and just do it. So those are the those are the biggest things, you know. Don't worry about the next man. Worry about yourself, you know. And then don't be afraid to try something. Don't be afraid to pick it up, you know. Um, uh, another important thing is too, and 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 I'll mention this, and I don't know if people hear this a lot, but um, learn the correct form uh, when like you're if you're gonna lift weights. Yeah, or, the stances. The uh, yeah. Don't go in there and, and blow your back out trying to see, do what you saw on Snapchat. You know, just you got to have you could you could lift a million pounds. But if you do it wrong, it's not going to do you any good. So um, definitely you want to learn the form, the correct form of, of whatever the exercise is before you even, you know, before you hurt yourself. Because if you hurt yourself, you're done. That's a wrap. Right. And oh, yeah. it goes back to that whole concept is you only get one body. So, you know, you got to be, you know, treat it right. Be careful with it. You know? Right. Right. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for all the gems, the tips, the motivation, and, you know, just knowing that there is someone like you that can guide someone and mentor them or um, encourage the mindset, the idea. You know, it all starts with the mind. Yep. The hardest does. part is starting. You know, you could always say That's tomorrow, it. tomorrow, 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 but you just have to start. Yeah, day one. Day one. Once you get past that first day, then okay. Like, oh you know? damn, I could do this. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, how how do you feel when you start your first job? Your first job, it's like nerve wracking because you don't know anything, you don't know anybody. You go in, you're nervous, but then you start working, and you're like, all right, I'll be back tomorrow. 
you know? And so that's, it's the same concept. You just got to transfer that, all that thinking of this into yourself. Right. Wow. Well, I appreciate you having me on, Tori. It was awesome. This is my Thank first, you. first interview ever. Oh, um, wow. So, You're yeah. Nice. So, <laughs> Thank it was you just, so, I was so like, much. man, this is awesome. Thank you. And I got your IG up there. I put it up there a few times. I underscore, underscore, oh, I'm tongue twisted today. I <laughs> underscore get underscore money underscore LLC. Hey. Mr. I get money. <laughs> That's Thank it. you so, so much for your time. I look forward to what's next for you.